Hey guys, it's Pink Sebastian. Welcome back to Skyward Sword. So as you can see, I have three different files. Um, the reason is that last time I played and my recording was off, I think my audio was kind of wonky and I couldn't fix it. So I had to go back, play again, and get back to the point where I left off. So it never happens again. I have these three saves just in case if I record and something goes wrong, well I have already two of the saves closest to that point. So, you know, just in case. Now that you guys know, let's go back right into the game. All right, so last time I did the race, won the race, um, did the ceremony with, why you have to interrupt me? Tsubasa. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that, you, that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar and that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. Okay. You could buy some potions and shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy in, on an adventure. Tsubasa. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. My bad, guys. I'm, I'm kind of like a little lost in my head. Um, so, yeah. Uh, last time it was the race, the, cer the ceremony that I won the race. I did the, the ritual or, the, you know, the, the thing with Zelda. And now I have to go down to the surface to rescue Zelda. Whoa. I heard the news, Tsubasa. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you won't if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You got a wooden sword. This slight wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. All right. Like always, that first shield is always weak. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to, to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold minus and point at the point at it with the Wii remote. Wii remote. So you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander? If what? I don't know why I said so. Uh, if you're not sure how, sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis, or Aegis, I don't know, at the Sparring Hall will happily teach you. So yeah, um, he reminded me of something. It's pretty late right now. I'm uh, recording this like at 3, 4 a.m. almost. So this video is going up today. The reason is that I was gonna play. Give me a break, okay? Let me let, let me read this and then I'll I'll give you guys the explanation. Um, Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword could result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in, in preparation for your journey. Another subject to discuss, Master. Once you are accustomed to the controls, you, you are free to modify the on-screen interface. On the gear screen, select interface to change on the 
change the on-screen display to suit your preferences. All right, let me do that now. Where's uh, okay? Uh, yeah, like just so I can see like the main buttons. All right, guys, quick little rundown on what happened as to why I was recording now at 4 a.m. Thing is. I was going to record earlier th today, well yesterday, but um, I had done all the catching up I had to do, I got to the point where I left off, but for some reason the game, the, the control, this control, went crazy and started going in and out of home screen. I tried to fix it and out of nowhere it just stopped working. I decided to just leave it there because it, what it, anything I was doing was not working. So I left it there and just went to sleep, got some rest, and I was going to do another video, but when I came back, I checked it, started working, but I was too busy with other stuff, cleaning the house and stuff like that, so I couldn't do anything besides um, wait until the first break that I got, which is right now. So if this video seems a little um, rushed, that's the reason. Now getting back into the game. Alright, so. To give you guys a little rundown on what I did in the game, I went into the bazaar and got a bottle of um, health potion, and I talked to this kid, he talked to me about um, this, where is it, it's the airship, Beatles airship, but yeah, I talked to him and he, um, he told me you have to ring the bell, but now let's just go straight into what the important part. I'm just gonna leave and head straight to that um, pillar of light. Where is it? All right, there it is. So yeah, I hope this is recording. I hope. This doesn't ruin itself again. Master Tsubasa, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skylock. Yes, to the south. Here. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. Okay. Dive in. Did I get out too early? Nah, I'm dead. Um, so yeah, I already did this before. Master Tsubasa, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been has long been part of Skylock Legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a, in a location known as the Sake. This I was about to call it the Sacred Grotto, it's the Sealed Grounds. But I think it's the same place, just at different times. Those of you who like, um, like the um, history and chronological order of the game, this would be, if I'm not wrong, the Sacred Grotto, in other words, um, Skyward Sword, no, um, Twilight Princess's um, sword location. Please proceed. Oh, I didn't even read that, my bad. So yeah, um, I already did this. I'm just gonna brush through here, do everything I need to do so I can give you guys a little extra. Right. Come on. Wait. Right, 
Oh man. So I see, I seem a little desperate because I'm, I mean, I feel bad about failing you guys last week. Hmm. This is a and this is a, a part that I really like. I'm gonna try and not talk too much on the um, cutscenes. <laughs> By the way, I'm not. I'm gonna try and not um, spoil anything like who, or who, um, which character represents who, like what that monster's name is, or what it's supposed to represent. So yeah, I'm gonna throw out a little interesting information, trying to avoid um, like spoilers and stuff like that, but this location is supposed to be the, it's supposed to be a temple in a game that's supposed to be in the future in reference to this one. Alright. Young one. Child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise, raise the sword of the goddess, Skyward. Take aim at the evil Ara and unleash its power. <laughs> see it has the goddesses symbols that's really interesting for me because um the goddesses don't really have a big role in skyward sword they just have like the symbols at, at least that's what i remember master tsubasa i'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your skyward strike I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to closely to your sailcloth. I surmise that this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the, dire the direction of this aura through a process known as Delos. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Nah, since I already know. Understood, Master. So yeah, basically I just hold C, point to the thing I want to find, and it's going to use my sword as a dousing tool. Hold C, hold down C and select Zelda as your dousing target, then point at the direction you wish to search. I mean, she didn't want, I said I didn't want an explanation, and she still gave it to me. Okay, wait. Let me douse real quick so it just leaves me alone. Uh, over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my bad. I'm here looking around but not dousing. Alright, there it is. So, yeah. I already forgot what I was saying. Um, 